Howdy folks, it's Mickey D here, and welcome to my opening for Machinarium, a game made by Amonita Design, and it's an indie game. It's probably one of the best indie games I've ever played. And before I start, I'm going to get two things uh, straight. First one is that this is a Let's Play, but it's going to be more of a walkthrough than a Let's Play, but it's still considered a Let's Play. And two, my mouse is going to be visible for the entire LP. So if you don't like being able, like having a little mouse to watch, then um, I suggest you not watch this game. But if you like, uh, if you like indie games that are clever, funny, and have a great, um, what's it, art design, like art directive, then I suggest by buying this game or trying the demo. So let's get into Machinarium. And this is my second recording at this game. And as you can see, this game's art direction is amazing. Not to copy off of Chugga Conroy or anything. But let's begin our little adventure. And as you can see, this the world is kind of big, but we only get to experience some of it. And I really wish there was a sequel to this game. But, l but there is not. Um, two things I should, uh, if you look at the top, if you move your mouse to the top, this is your inventory. If you move your mouse to the bottom of the screen, this is your menu. It's about, save, load, window size, volume, enough said. So, we're going to want to click on this, because we're going to, we're just ahead right now, over here. This is our little head. And we're going to see if we can connect the head to the body, and we can, awesome. So as this thing says, we can interact with things only within our reach of our arm's length or height. So we're going to want to talk to this little bug thing when it comes around to us. Okay, let's talk to you. We need an arm and a leg. How do we get this? We need a toy. The toy is right up here, so you can already see. So this is why I'm keeping the cursor, so you guys can tell what I'm doing with the cursor, how I'm making my person react with the world and stuff. So we give him that little toy. I don't know what he's going to do with that toy. Probably molest it. I mean, what? So now we can move around in the world. The first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to grab this string. And to hold your string in your inventory, you just eat it up. And that's kind of what I like about this game. This game has that kind of humor where you just eat things for the heck of it. Um, I was going to say something. Oh yes, this walkthrough book up here, if you are really stuck on a level, which I doubt people are, but I've actually, when I first played this game, I was really stumped. So if um, if you get stuck at this game, click on this and it'll bring you to a little mini game. I'll probably be showing that at the end of the game because I probably won't be needing it. So if you have two items that you think can combine together, combine them. Click on one and click on the other. And as you can see, we made a magnet string. We can push this down, and let's see if we can use our magnet string to make to actually get across this over here. If you move your mouse from side to side, you can kind of get a different look at the area, the foreground, the God. I don't know. What, I don't know what you'd call this. The middle, and then the background. Kind of get different depths of this game. So we get an arm! We got our final piece of our body. So let's head over into this new area over here. And we just walk to the city. Now, something I didn't notice, I noticed when I was in my previous fail recording, was that this little robot guy follows us. And he's going to be in our other next part of this game that we're going to have to deal with. Now, two things you want to know about him. He has a blue hat and a light bulb, okay? You can kind of see what we're going to be wanting to do here just from that and from what he's wearing also. So he calls across his... He calls to this person saying, I want to cross the drawbridge, and so he goes across the bridge. And now note what he's about to do. He jumps over the oil puddle, okay? That's important. So if you try talking to this guy about letting us go over, he will say no. So 
We can't try across the drawbridge until we have two items. A hat with a light bulb. And if you go over to this cone, you click on the cone, and then you get a cone. And you can wear it as a hat and party hard. Yes, party hard. Party, party. But if you keep clicking the cones, you push them off the ledge. You can see a paint bucket, and this paint bucket is blue. And if you can tardy, tardy tell, well, well, already tell, what we gotta do, we gotta put this paint bucket in this blue, or this white water. Let's take our hat off. Hat gives me the creeps. And if you combine the hat with this water, you make a blue hat. Now we are a smurf. A smurf party hard, party hard. And if you talk to the guy again, he'll say, "No, you do not have what we, what I want." So let's climb up. And these kind of stick things, fence posts are wobbly, so you can click on them, interact with them, and climb up again. Click on the second bottom one, and now we can fully climb up. So let's climb up and get this light post. Get this light out of the post that's up here. Okay, let's move up and click on the light bulb. No! Joseph! Yes, that is the character's name in this game. Joseph. No, do not take off the hat. Okay, let's talk to the person. And I failed. I forgot we don't have what we want. We don't have the light bulb attached to us, even though we just got it. And I'm not going to be following the walkthrough that I have. I'm going to be following my own instinct because I play this game. This is my seventh round of this game. It's got to be. Well, I call it my seventh round. It's actually my sixth. Sixth because I actually read the walkthrough like twice over just to remember things. I'm not going to... There's, there's a way... There's an actual way you go through the game. Actually, like a path you choose. And there we go. We get our walkthrough. Or walk through. We get a drawbridge down. Yeah, there's an actually a way you can actually uh, finish the game. It actually goes by a story. And but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna follow my own path, my own distinctive way, and jump over the oil spill. No, no, you fell. Dang you, BP. Dang you. And we enter up into a new area. I kind of like. I like to call the whole room. As you can see, there's a bunch of holes on the wall, and. We're going to do this part in the next episode. So until then, guys, I will see you later and hope you like Machinariums already through. See you guys later.